So guys, whether you are a Windows user or a Linux user, partitioning is one of the cram breaking tasks that will arise while you are installing them. So guys, in this tutorial, we will see how to create an extended partition or we can say how to resolve the problem showing not possible to create more than four partitions. So guys, now let's get started. So guys, here you can see here I'm having a pen drive in which I'm trying to create a more than four partitions and guys inspect of this pen drive or in place of this pen drive you can use any hard disk or anything so guys here i'm using this gparted software it's the software for linux and guys same is for disk management in windows you can see by my right click on my computer and all so guys now here you can see here i'm having four partition one is 1.12 gb 1.146 gb 2.24 gb and one is 109 mb it means less than uh, 1 GB and here I'm having another unallocated partition that I want to create so guys as I will create it click on new and it's showing not possible to create more than four partitions so guys now what is the solution for this so guys the solution is you need to create an extended partition so guys what is extended partition I will tell you so guys uh, first of all I will create an extended partition so guys before creating extended partition what you need to do is you have to delete any one of the partition from all these four hard drives these are all four partitions and guys it is necessary step so you can move the data from one uh, partition to the other partition then you can delete it for deleting directly right click and delete it and after deleting what you need to do is here you need to click on new and after that here create as primary you need to select extended partition so guys what is extended partition i will tell you guys extended partition is a partition which contains number of logical partition and guys what is logical partition guys logical partition is same as primary partition but the in case of logical partition you can create any number of logical partition dependent on your hard disk space the large number of hard disk space you can create large number of logical partition and guys a logical partition can be called as primary partition it will all like part primary partition but vice versa is not possible means a primary partition can't be called as a logical partition so primary partition can be uh, cannot be more than four partitions but logical partition can be more than four and number of partitions and there is no limit for them so here we will create a, a extended partition and get this extended part in this extended partition you need to click on new and then you will create this logical partition as I said, this logical partition is same as primary partition. You can install any operating system, do any kind of stuff. There will be no effective. All will be same as primary partition. So I will click add here. Now you can see I will be able to create more than four partition. I have created five partition as I will click at more. I'll... So guys, it's a little funny that I am creating a partition of 762 MB. But if I'm having a hard drive of uh, 1 TB, 2 TB, I will create this of 700 GB and other 70 GB that. So you can do these all stuff with a hard drive. There will be no issue at all. And here I'm creating add. So guys, now you can see here I'm able to create seven partitions at a time. Seven is not extended. It is not a partition. Extended is like a directory or a folder in which contains uh, three logical partitions here. So here I'm able to create six partitions and you are not able to create four at time. So uh, five, sorry. And so now I have created. Now what you need to do is here is the apply all operation. In this management, you can see that will direct the, they will know apply operation. All the steps work uh, at a time. So now you need to click on this uh, step and it will show that all the data on your pen drive will be lost if you will do this and guys i will suggest you to back up your whole data before doing this because i am not responsible for your data and if you will follow all the steps that i will should i think there will be no loss of data but i am not sure it's a digital tax so i will not take risk so now you have to click on apply and guys as you will click on apply it will perform all the pending operations as i have created i think seven to uh, seven operations in which it step by step it is doing all the operations and it this process depends on the process, processing speed of your computer and all these things so i think i have resolved your problem and if you have any query please comment out so bye bye have a nice day and we will meet you again bye